about this training right now, because if you are on this video right now with me, it's because you've gone through the overview. You've gone through the time blocking with Daniel. You are now on this video because you're ready for the next step in planning your success. Also understanding what keys you have to have in order to attain that success. Sure. We can talk all day long about consistency. Sure. We can talk all day long about the how-to steps for this and that right underneath this video for your fast start guide. All of those things will not matter though, unless you watch this video in full. Did you hear me? You've got to watch this video in full. Everything that we're going to discuss and the Google document shared right below this video is going to be so incredibly critical to your understanding for what's happening, maybe already or already inside of our Facebook group, inside of you watching a, a training that we have, catching a replay, any action that you've taken, even if it's just a couple of videos inside this TFT training so far, you're already probably feeling this way. And what I would like to refer that is the terror barrier. I worked with Bob Proctor up until he passed earlier in 2022. And what Bob explained to me and when I worked alongside him was what we run into the terror barrier. It's that barrier of fear, that anxiety, the overwhelm, what I would say paralyzes you and makes it so the majority of people have Groundhog Day. The reason we're going to discuss this right now and not later on after you're taking steps is because when you go to take out an action and when you go to post a first video, when you go to do something inside of any training below this video here that you're on you're going to come up against what Bob and I would say is the terror barrier. Now, Bob Proctor being the person that he is, he specifically taught what things are as far as law of attraction, law of vibration, being able to attract things to you with ease. It's not a coincidence that there are so many people, including you here shortly, have so much income within this business. It happens based on design. It does not happen based on luck. It does not happen based on you had experience and this guy didn't, so he's not as successful. It is based on design. So please, please follow, pay attention to what this video has because there is a rhyme and reason to why this is one of the first videos before you even start doing a lot of the action steps inside of your business. Refer to the Google document right under this video as you wish. It is something that is so important and so critical to your success. You've got to understand what's happening, why you're feeling foreign, why the anxiety is happening. And it's not what you think. I'm going to give you acronyms, analogies, situations that you're maybe experiencing already. And you do need to understand what that is. Otherwise, you will have Groundhog Day. And you've chosen this business for a reason. So this training is here for a purpose. Please pay attention to it as we go through things. Now, underneath this video, you're going to have a Google document. That Google document, no matter the title, if it changes later on, is so critical to your success. Feel free to print it out. Feel free to reference it, whatever you want to do. Now, I want you to understand, first and foremost, this training is specifically for you to identify, identify, and avoid at all costs, what I would say is the landmine that will sabotage your success from the beginning. You'll be a person who quits after a day. You'll be the person who gets overwhelmed and doesn't know what to do, even though all the instructions are right there at your fingertips. You'll be the person who says, I don't have the time for this. I can't afford it. It's not working. It won't work. So I challenge you right now, interrupt that thought pattern, pay attention to this video. Because the only way that you can crash through that terror barrier and not be in bondage and not have what I would say is Groundhog Day. The only way for you to know how to do that and take the right action steps and get an income result moments after you do the fast start guide, the only way for you to do that is to pay attention to this video. Now, am I a broken record? Have I said pay attention to this video often? Yes, I have because it is that important to your success. Okay. Now, what I want you to understand first and foremost is you have what we call paradigms. Paradigms are your conditioning. They are your chosen perception for the last however many decades you've been alive. And from the time you were born up until this time now, in this moment now, how, no matter how old you are, 
you have what's called conditioning in here. You see something, you respond to it, you react to it, whether good or bad, there's polarity in everything, right? There's good, there's bad, yin, yang, inside, outside, up, down. There's always polarity. And no matter how you react and how you respond, you've been conditioned to react and respond in that way based on your surrounding, based on what you've been taught. Okay. So roll with me for a moment. A person who I would say is in bondage, and you'll see this in your Google document. A person who is in bondage has say X type conditioning. They've done X type things throughout their whole life. They've thought certain things throughout their whole life. They get certain results, income and otherwise. It's what we call Groundhog Day. A person would be in bondage if they always have the same results. The majority of us are there and the majority of us want to not be there, which is probably why you're in this training and why you chose this business, because you know you're made for more. You know that there's something better for you out there. And when you grow, your income grows. So you're taking that step. But right now you're in bondage like the majority of people in the whole world are. Okay. Groundhog day. The only way to get away from groundhog day is to understand what happens when we try to move away from bondage or groundhog day. X-type conditioning, meaning X-type thoughts, feelings, actions you've done for however long, so many years. And now you're getting X type results because you continue doing the same thing, right? Your results are a reflection of what you put in here over however long. And this video is going to teach you how to come out of that and how to break past what we call the paralyzing, the terror barrier, the overwhelm. Okay. Now in the next step, so you have X type thoughts, X type conditioning, you get X type behavior because you think and feel a certain way for however long you're getting X type results, income and otherwise. That's what we call bondage. Okay. To get away from bondage, usually the person will then go into what we call reason. Reason is when you have the X type thoughts, X type thoughts, X type feelings, but you begin to have the idea. Let's call it a why. Okay. A why idea. When you have a why idea coming into your mind that you're made for more, it's what I would call the daydreaming phase. You have a wish that you want to express. You have a goal that you want to attain. You have this expression, the uniqueness inside of you is wanting to burst out. But because you still on the physical level have X type results, you want something more, but you don't do anything about it. There's no action taken. So here's where it gets interesting in order to break from bondage, X type results, X type conditioning, all of that X type, right? You then have the idea. It's what we call the Y idea. As soon as you have the Y idea and you're wishing for something more, but you're not sure how to do it. You don't think you have what it takes, which is where you are now, which is why you got into this business. The only way to pass, put yourself past the reason phase is to know that the terror barrier is here. The terror barrier that if you don't break past it, it does put you back into bondage. It does smash those goals. It does make a person quit on themselves, their dreams, their family, what they want and why maybe you chose this business. Okay. To break past the terror barrier, this is what it looks like. You have X type conditioning. Okay. Okay. For however long you've thought and felt a certain way, that's why you've had the certain results you have, income and otherwise, all right? Now you're expressing, you're thinking more about this why idea, the I want to quit my job, I want to get out of debt, I want to take my kids on a trip, I want to fire my boss once and for all, I want to have $10,000 a month residually without me touching or clocking the clock or clocking in on the clock, Okay. You have this idea that you're made for more and then you start getting emotionally involved. Oh my heck, as soon as I'm able to quit my job, it will feel like this. As soon as I have this, I'll have freedom. And I chose this business with the TFT team because you have all those thoughts come in, right? And now you're emotionally involved. So now the result is you have X-type conditioning, 
same in, same old thoughts, behaviors. Now you're expressing a why idea. I'm made for more. I want 10,000 a month. I want to fire my boss. I want to get out of debt, whatever the goal. And what happens is now the result is you have X, Y, foreign vibration mixing in your heart, in your, in your gut, in your mind. And you're thinking, I don't have what it takes. And what sets up is anxiety. The anxiety is suppressed. When anxiety, fear, the unknown, the unfamiliar is suppressed, that turns into depression. What happens is not the mental state, just that of depression. I'm saying when you suppress, when you hide how you feel and you don't communicate and you step back because you're in paralyzed because what is happening is a foreign vibration. It's chaotic. I've had X type results. I chose a business that's supposed to help me get Y results, Y type results. Okay. I have my Y idea happening. And then I don't know what to do about it. I don't have what it takes. And the understanding of what's happening is where we are. It's what we call the terror barrier. When you can understand what the terror barrier is, that foreign vibration, that's anxiety, that fear, the unknown, and you choose to push past it because you recognize what's happening. That is the only way that you'll go into freedom where you have Y type results, where you have something more for yourself, whether that's the debt eliminated, whether that is firing your boss, that's getting away from the nine to five grind, that's being able to make 10,000, 50,000, $100,000 a month, a week, whatever the goal. The only way for you to do that is for you to recognize when the anxiety comes, when the overwhelm comes, which maybe you're feeling right now, even in this video. Maybe you got into the Facebook group and you thought, oh my gosh, I don't have time for this. What do I do? What do I do? Too much information. Maybe you got on Teachable Tuesday one time and you thought, oh my heck, I don't have what it takes. I don't know what to do. I don't know what they're talking about. That overwhelm, the unknown is normal. That anxiety that you're feeling is good. It's a good thing. Your body has no idea the difference between you being anxious and you being excited. It sets up the same type of symptoms. Maybe you get sweaty on your hands. Maybe you get butterflies in your stomach. Maybe your gut sinks. Maybe your heart races. You get jitters, right? The anxiety compared to excitement produces the same physical symptoms. So inside this training, when you can recognize as soon as I hit that terror barrier, as soon as I have my X type conditioning, for the last however many decades that I've been in my, in my world, in my life. And now I chose a business that's allowing me to increase financially, to help others do the same, to impact for good. And oh my gosh, I don't know how to do it. It's scary to create all this content. I don't have what it takes. What if I fail? The only way for you to not bounce back from the barrier into bondage, X-type, X-type, X-type results is for you to recognize what's happening. And what's happening is anxiety. The problem is when we suppress our anxiety, we don't communicate with our sponsor. We tap out of the Facebook group. We all of a sudden are busy on Tuesday and don't show up to learn how to do things. We skip through videos. We forfeit the patience that we need, we go right back into bondage. And when we suppress those thoughts and we behave like Groundhog Day, we go to depression. We go to what I call dis-ease, not disease, dis-ease. A body not at ease is anxious. And what happens is the result is disintegration and you're in the same spot month after month, year after year, yet again, because you quit on you, you didn't recognize what was happening. So what I challenge you to do is as soon as you have that terror barrier come up, as soon as you have the, I've been in X type thoughts, X type feelings for so long, so many years. Now I have my Y idea of, I want to use TFT to get more, to be more, to have more. And as soon as you feel that anxiety, recognize that it's the terror barrier. 
recognize that the only way to overcome it is to understand it. Whoever said knowledge was power was full of crap. It is not knowledge that's power. You could research all day long how to do anything below this training. The fast art guide, short form videos, Facebook, etc. You could even go and pay for advertising if you wanted to. But if you don't overcome what is happening when you feel paralyzed, when you feel that anxiety, you will bring yourself right back into bondage and you will never tap into freedom beyond the terror barrier. We're not just after freedom here in this business. We're here for impact and how you impact yourself and others is being able to understand what's happening. It's the understanding that's the power, not the knowledge. And I take it a step further. It's the understanding based on application that is the power. So how does one do that? Okay, just referencing my Google Doc here that you'll have access to if you click below this video. To get beyond the terror barrier, here's a quote I want you to remember. Write this down. It's also in your Google document if you want to copy and paste it. Maybe put it somewhere where you see it often, okay? Thoreau said, if a person advances confidently in the direction of their dream and endeavors to live the life they've imagined, this why idea, what you imagine, what's possible, what you desire, what you want that you don't yet have, you just want it, okay? Okay. They will meet with success unexpected in common hours. Focus on that for a moment. Are you going to succeed in this business? Yes, you will. I can guarantee it. Your definition of success is catered towards you. If that means an income result, if that means X amount of people you impact, if that means firing your boss, if that means taking the trip, whatever the goal, I guarantee you will have it. And the reason I can say that is because when you understand the terror barrier, when you understand that you have been conditioned to think and feel and behave in a certain way, and now you're given something that's more, something that's better, you've never been there before. You've never tapped into this area and it is uncomfortable and it is anxiety driven. Thank heavens. Because the only reason it's anxiety driven is because you're stepping into something that makes you grow. And when you grow, your income grows, guaranteed. You value you, you understand you, you express more for you, for others, for those around you by increasing yourself and intentionally stepping into something that is unfamiliar. You will control your income. You will be so valuable, you'll be irreplaceable. And you will have the time freedom that you actually want. Not the one that's talked about in movies, not the ones that you see on social media, but you would actually embrace that. The only way for you to do that is to understand what is happening. You have to understand what's happening. So I'll say that quote one more time by throw. If a person advances confidently in the direction of their dream, meaning you're willing and able, non-debatable, you go for it no matter what, even when you feel uncomfortable, you recognize that when you're uncomfortable, it's giving you growth. And when you grow, your income grows. If a person advances confidently in the direction of their dream and endeavors to live the life they've imagined, you give it everything you've got, non-debatable. You show up for you every day. You will meet with success unexpected in common hours. Your success will happen as if it happened overnight. It will be all of a sudden this lucky gal, this lucky guy, when really it's common to have that success because you recognized what was happening. So how do you... How do you get over the terror barrier? It's not just the understanding. Yes, that is super incredibly important, as I've already mentioned. The ignorance is there. You don't get what's going on. So to understand it, you push past it. How do you push past that terror barrier? You get emotionally involved with the why idea. Get emotionally involved with the why idea every freaking day. Let's say your goal is to make $10,000 a month and fire your boss once and for all. 
let's say you've only ever made six grand a month. And that's after you work 160 hours in the whole month reporting to someone else's schedule. Let's say you're annoyed at your commute. You want out of that. To have $10,000 a month, we have the resources in which you will take in order to attain that. The how-to steps laid out for you, everything below this video here. But remember, I'm doing this video first so you understand that when you go out to take the action for any section beyond this video, for the fast art guide, for your advanced training, et cetera, you'll recognize what's happening as soon as you step into something that is unfamiliar. That anxiety is excitement if you choose it to be. It is. The more often you can get emotionally involved with the why idea, say your $10,000 a month goal, the more that terror barrier goes away. You have to learn, and this is in your Google document, you've got to learn to go into forfeiting your five senses, what you see, smell, taste, touch here. More often, you need to go into forfeiting those more often. And choose to step into your six higher faculties. Your six higher faculties being will, like your discipline, reason, taking evidence from the past that's good and bringing it into the future. Your will, your reason, your imagination, that is the biggest one in my opinion. If you learn to forfeit your five senses, you ignore, you forfeit, you go away from more often what you see, smell, taste, touch here, and you intentionally choose to go into your imagination, which is the emotional involvement in the why idea. You will control your income. You will have a say in how much you get paid. Not anyone else, not anything else. Will, reason, imagination, perception, it's a choice. What are you perceiving as yours? What are you accepting as truth? Not what you see, hear, taste, touch, and all that. What are you choosing to accept as truth? Does that make sense? I really hope so. Will, reason, imagination, perception, intuition, being able to create, going with your gut, understanding that you're made for more and you step into it. Okay. And the last one, memory. Using your memory once you've stepped into your freedom more often than bondage, understanding it's a terror barrier. You're using your memory to bring forth that evidence that you can have what you see others have. You're taking them as evidence that you can do the same. If there's multiple, multiple people making five to six figures a month within this business, why not? you take them as evidence. You can do the same, but understand that when you're in anxiety, when it's the X type conditioning, you've had X type results, X type behavior. You're now entertaining the Y idea. You're getting emotionally involved with the goal of yours for 10,000 a month. Let's say the only way that terror barrier goes away is when you recognize what's happening and you intentionally choose to push past that foreign vibration, that chaotic oh my gosh, can I do this? You can. We have too much evidence saying that you can, but only if you recognize what's happening and what's going on. The ignorance is the problem. Just as I mentioned before, the polarity in all things, right? Up, down, inside, outside, black, white, et cetera. Ignorance is the opposite of knowledge. The only reason you aren't where you want to be yet is not because you're new. It's not because you're old or young. It's not because this is, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Has everything to do with you're not knowledgeable yet of how to do it and how to do it effectively, what to do, how to say it, all that stuff. All of this training that we have for you goes over every single piece of that. How, what, when, where, why, what steps, when. It goes over every single piece. But unless you can recognize what is happening when you feel that anxiety, you will remain in ignorance. And if you remain in ignorance, you'll tap yourself right back into bondage every single moment of your life. And you'll be the person who has the same income results in a week, a year from now. We don't want that for you. You don't want that for you. 
So recognize that the anxiety that comes up is a good thing. The anxiety makes it so you choose to grow if you actually choose to grow. Okay. This is also in your Google document. It's a quote that I love so much from Bob Proctor. It's so good. I hope you really, really understand it and recognize it. It's beautiful. He says, faith is the ability to see the invisible, the belief in the incredible, and that will permit us to receive what the masses call impossible. Do you think the Wright brothers who created the airplane knew what they were doing? They wanted to put this big machine in the sky and hold people in it without them like getting in trouble or dying. <laughs> that was psychotic. And yet now we don't know how to live without airplanes. Do you think Steve Jobs was a weirdo in trying to launch iPhones, Apple products, and now we don't live without those things? Do you know how much hate people would get? myself included, maybe you as well, for tapping into something that's unfamiliar that some would say is ridiculous. Just go get a real job, go clock in, clock out. That's not what you're made for. And the only way for you to tap into freedom, the only way for you to recognize what's going on is to intentionally put yourself in a position to feel the anxiety. It's only going to help you if you recognize that when it comes. Now, I kind of tapped on this earlier, and this is again in your Google document. Okay. The ignorance is the polar opposite to knowledge. The ignorance, just like my acronym. Okay. If you're ignorant about something, you suppress it. You don't communicate. You tap out, you back away. You're not involved, right? The suppression turns into depression. The depression turns into dis-ease, disease. I always hyphenate it. Your body is not at ease. And if your body's not at ease and you continue in anxiety, you're going to disintegrate. Okay. Well, if the ignorance is the opposite, what is knowledge? Knowledge is you express how you feel. You intentionally get involved. You communicate with your sponsor. You say, this is where I'm at. I need help. I would like help. You tap into things. You put it on your calendar. You show up for you. Although you maybe you're not used to that yet. You do it anyway. You express. That expression turns into acceleration. The acceleration makes you at ease. And when your body is at ease and you're confident based on consistency, you're in creation. The opposite of disintegration is creation. To create, the definition of create literally means to bring into existence. So what will you bring into existence within this training, within our Facebook group, with all the trainings we have, the replays? You're taking it one step at a time because you're made for more. And you're intentionally choosing to go into your imagination for the why idea that you have and why you tapped into this business. I challenge you to see all the good that you desire to have right now, even before it gets here, even before it gets here. Now, last couple things, all of this is done and done really, really well through consistency. Understand you're not going from X type vibration, X type results, all of that. And just tomorrow you're just like, ta-da, I'm in the Y vibration now. I'm never chaotic. That doesn't happen that way. It happens based on consistency. So choose every single day, every single day to choose something more for yourself, to choose the fact that you're stepping away from the terror barrier, that you're recognizing it, that when you feel that overwhelm, that anxiety, you express rather than suppress, you create rather than disintegrate. The only way for you to get away from dis-ease in your body, your anxiety, your paralyzed, your overwhelm is to do the opposite, which is to be in proximity. That's my second tip. Consistency is first. This is just wrapping up here. Consistency is first. It's compounding the habit of choosing you every day. Is that foreign to you? Yeah, it is. That doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means when the anxiety comes that it's a good thing. 
And then the second thing, proximity. You should never take advice from someone, anyone, a, a group, whoever, if you wouldn't switch places with them. And I'm confident, so confident to say that you've chosen the right team. You're on this team for a purpose. You've chosen this vehicle in the online space for a purpose. Proximity does win. So be sure to be tapped in. Be sure to be involved. Because if you hang out with all of us enough, you're really going to understand that anxiety and how to push past it so much faster than the person who just gets paralyzed. We don't want you to be paralyzed. We want you to grow because we know for a fact that when your income grows, you grow. And when you grow, your income grows. They literally go hand in hand. You'll become valuable. You'll become irreplaceable. You will attain the goals that you want, guaranteed, as long as you remain consistent, you remain aware of the things you don't know, and you intentionally choose to step into that freedom rather than remaining as you are and having what I call Groundhog Day. I cannot wait for you to tap into the how-to steps. Just understand that when you start doing them, it is normal to feel the anxiety. It is a good thing to feel those nerves come up, to feel paralyzed. I don't know what to do. What if I don't have what it takes? That's normal. Now the challenge is for you to recognize it when it comes, to accept it as it is, and then push past it anyway. We'll see you on the next trainings. I'm so excited to see you soar. Tap into your potential. You deserve it. You do. Talk to you soon.